I'm gonna update you on my last two weeks of the challenge. How have they been going for me? Do you like my new background? I was getting sick of the same old shit over and over. So, how were the last two weeks for me? I've got several video clips to share with you about some experiences I had. Cute little mandarin oranges are all in plastic. There's literally not an option to get it not in plastic, so I won't be eating any little baby oranges. And Kroger also, I forgot, does not have any green vegetables, as in lettuce or spinach, etc., without a plastic tag on it. I need green. So even though I like to buy things that come in glass, I still have a mother effing plastic wrap around the top. Don't even see this shit when I buy it. And there it is, more plastic. It's impossible. I attempted to make my own tortilla chips, which were really freaking amazing. All you have to do is buy tortillas, cut them in pieces, put them in the oven on 200 for a few minutes to dry them out, and then fry them up. And then I also attempted to make my own kale chips, which were so good. I've been missing chips so bad because everything is plastic that they come in at the store. So that was a refreshing pause in this challenge, but I do want to say the second half was even more challenging than the first half because my life recently has got increasingly busy. So before, I think this plastic challenge would have been very easily achievable. I just would have had to pay more attention. But now that my life is busy, it's really hard. I ran into so many situations that were similar to like when I went out to eat traveling with my friends. Well, they took me to a place that had everything in styrofoam and I was starving and I can't, I don't want to be the person that's like, can we go somewhere else because I can't, you know. So I ended up eating there and plastic. I travel with people without being one of those people that's like complaining about everything but then they take you somewhere that only serves their food in styrofoam. I'm gonna be talking to the people in this restaurant asked for my food to be in as little plastic as possible and the cashier was super nice and said please put it in paper but guess what they did blasphemy a good moment to have my own utensils with me because my only option is a plastic straw or a plastic spoon the second to last ish weekend of february around the 22nd uh, i went on a trip to Tennessee and that was really interesting traveling without plastic is hard because gas stations fast food places a lot of the stuff comes in plastic so that was a challenge an un unsuccessful challenge I should say I was with people so I really cut myself a lot of slack for this weekend because I didn't want to be one of those people that was like I can't like I want to enjoy my friends I don't want to force this upon other people because this is a decision that I made so I did not I was being fed that weekend I didn't make complaints about oh did you buy this food in a store that sold it in plastic it served to me on a plate so cool one thing I really loved about this couch surfing event is just this this group of people is just phenomenal I'm telling you like they really do care about stuff a lot of people who have been super supportive of my videos thank you Thomas and Grace have just encouraged me to continue and it's really cool to see that my video has impacted some other people so I was hanging out with a lot of my friends through couch surfing and a lot of new people who are also interested in this challenge and we went on a hike and my friend packed his grapes into a coffee mug instead of a plastic bag and I thought that was adorable but also a great idea because hey, we didn't use any more plastic so that was nice to see some other people participating. And then another thing is we had a huge party like we had like 30 people in a cabin easily could have bought a bunch of paper plates, a bunch of plastic forks, because it's just convenient to throw it all away. But guess what? These people were responsible. We used the dishes in the cabin. We washed our dishes afterwards. So it was really nice to see that there wasn't any disposable 
single-use plastics at this event. Of course, like when we bought the groceries and stuff, there was still things that came in plastic, but I wasn't gonna be that person that's like, no, I'm gonna ruin the event for everyone else because I can't have this because it's in plastic. So I just ate what was it, whatever was served to me because that, that was the style of this event. The food was already made for us, so I didn't want to be the particular in that way. But just the fact that other people were kind of somewhat participating and not buying single-use plastics and paper plates and all this stuff and styrofoam like that was really cool and seeing some people that w took an interest in my project and were asking questions about how how can they reduce their plastic use that was cool several things happened to me as soon as I got back from this trip and I was exhausted and could not even so here we go again with the exhaustion so it's all about time really it's Time has been the hardest thing. Like when you're exhausted, you just want something convenient. And unfortunately, where I live, a lot of the convenient stuff is just plastic or styrofoam. And you don't even think about it. And then boom, there it is. You failed again. So I've totally failed like twice on my challenge today. <clears throat> I went to Whole Foods on the way to drop off my tires to get fixed. Because I hit a curb this morning and popped a tire. Because I'm exhausted right now. Fun weekend though. Um, <clears throat> so I was starving. And I was in a hurry to get my tires in so I could get them fixed before tomorrow. And I went to Whole Foods trying to be good. Get something that comes in cardboard instead of plastic. But then I realized I don't have any plastic utensils. Sorry. I do have plastic utensils. I didn't have any utensils with me, so I had to use a plastic one. Back. And then tonight afterwards, I'll have no dinner in the kitchen. And I'm about to go to sleep. And I just needed to fill my belly. So I got Zaxby's forgetting that they pack their shit in styrofoam. And look what happened. There's a fucking hole in styrofoam container so this is a great reminder that going plastic free is awesome because I probably just ingested that melted shit I know I've totally effed up this challenge dramatically since starting but a lot of cool people on Instagram who are also doing this plastic free stuff are like hey this is about awareness this isn't about being perfect this isn't about just all of a sudden dropping off all the plastic usage or starving yourself because you can't find something immediately that doesn't come in plastic. It's about awareness, like, and I definitely am very aware of how much plastic there is. Like, this challenge just continues to get more interesting all the time. I'm like, holy crap, I didn't even think this was gonna be in plastic. This isn't plastic, like, I can't buy groceries. This isn't plastic. So I am at the Latino store, and I love them for their produce because it's super cheap and I can get a ton of stuff in my reusable bags. But I went to the meat counter and they cannot wrap anything in paper in So there's no meat for me today. I'm gonna have to start remembering to bring my own container. This is very difficult. I want some meat. At Walmart and I almost used a plastic one. So this is what I look like right now. Yes, there's plastic in my hand because this is Airbnb supplies, which I told you would still be plastic. But I'm still stopping myself with the bag. I look ridiculous. It's over! Okay. I'm not celebrating putting plastic back in the ocean. I'm celebrating being able to relax a little bit and not stress out and drive to five bajillion grocery stores just to make sure I didn't buy a Twistum that has plastic on it. It was exhausting, honestly, trying to plan for a trip out of the country and do my taxes and dance and run a business and do this video blog and not be able to use plastic. It was absolutely overwhelming, but I did it. Here it is, hooray. Um, I failed a lot, so maybe I can't say that I did it, but that's okay. That pretty much wraps up the last two weeks of how they've been going for me with my plastic challenge. So this one Kroger that I'm at has this cool thing I haven't seen before. They've got this cardboard 
they might be plastic lines, but cardboard containers, and they've got all these sides that you can pick up. Why can't we do all of our food like this, though? I do have a lot more updates to talk to you about, but I can't fit it all in one video, so just keep, keep watching. As I'm preparing for Italy, I've already made some review videos for you guys to finish up showing you the different products that I bought during this plastic free challenge. And I'm going to be posting those over the course of the next few weeks since I won't have a lot of time to shoot new material while I'm getting trip ready. Italy, what, 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 what? Okay. Anyways. So I've got reviews coming up and then I know a lot of you have been asking me some questions about what can you do to reduce your plastic waste or maybe you have some questions about what am I going to do now that my 30 day plastic challenge is over? Am I going to go back to being a plastic whore? I don't know. You'll have to stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel and find out. I will be posting about this. I have several more weeks of videos to post for you guys for this challenge in this project and then hopefully I'll be able to start moving into some things in Italy for you guys so make sure you comment below or you send me a message or subscribe well obviously subscribe anyways but if there's something specific that you want to ask me make sure you let me know and I will try to include that in one of my future videos If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. It's about... My head is just... I'm so exhausted from this weekend, I can't even think, but I got a flat tire turn right. and today I was supposed to go grocery Take shopping. the next right. I got a flat tire. Feet. Turn right. Shut the f